take number two of this video since the first video I looked literally like dust. Welcome back guys, welcome. Why not shake the table, man? There's so much I want to talk about. There's been such a gap and my head has just been all over the place. As you guys can probably tell for the past three months, I haven't really been myself. I haven't been the same summer Alex or the same summer Peric as you guys probably remember just because it's like, were you recording that whole time? You're so... <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do like a deep combo. You know, nothing can get done in this house. It is, it is official. I know some of you guys probably know this. Some of you guys don't know this. But I did move to Texas. Indeed. Um, there's, been, there's been some talk of it for a while. And yes, this is the Guggen Squad house. If you want to check out the whole house tour. And also do me a huge favor and subscribe to this channel as well. It's the new Guggen Squad channel. Uh, we're right now in the in the works of getting the podcast room all situated, uh, the media and editing room all situated. There's so much that still needs to be done to this house, but we do have a house tour up, so go check that out. Link will be below. But yeah, I moved my stuff out of Alabama, went to Chicago, got the flu, tried to edit, tried to film, had a huge bad two weeks of uploading videos, and this is the reason why. But I'm glad I can finally tell you guys this. I'm glad that I can go back to just filming videos tomorrow today is actually tuesday right now i'm trying to get this video up tonight tomorrow we're actually going to gary yamamoto's john and rob and i uh chris from chris's outdoor adventures is staying at the house uh, for he's been he stayed like saturday night now he's staying tonight as well it's just it's it's crazy to think that an idea a year ago when we all started talking together and when i started youtube i was like man i'm gonna do this for fun and now it's evolved into me literally my whole life has been picked up and moved to Texas because of YouTube, because of the opportunities. And it's kind of crazy to think four or five years ago when I was, I believe I was 14, this company approached me. The first company that ever approached me, I didn't send a single email. They approached me and they said, hey, we'll send you this box. Can you review it for us? And that was back in the day when there was a guy named Jeremy there and Ross, the head guy, and it was just them two. And they, uh, I was emailing them, and we became friends. Jeremy actually came to my house with KVD back when I was like 15. And it built to something now, a relationship where now they are sponsoring this whole house. We're about to get some logos up in here. They're going to send us boxes. We're going to be doing challenges. It's, it's crazy to think how, how a vision can evolve. And, and it's just, hopefully it gives you guys some hope. I mean, I'm nowhere near where I want to be. I want to keep on getting better. And I think that's something about life that, this whole experience that I'm sharing with you guys that you guys take away from this. I like to think of my videos as about 90% goofing off fishing and just enjoying the outdoors and 10% me being serious and like hopefully helping the youth of America. Wow, that's bad because I probably give some bad influence as well. But sometimes when I do these serious talks, I hope that I'm reaching out to some high schoolers that maybe aren't having the greatest time in high school or in middle school and just to get a little bit of a pick-me-up. And this is kind of like... Hey, you never know where your life will go. Like, just go with the flow. Think of the positives in it, and um, maybe you might end up doing something like I do, which I love. Or maybe I just all everything could fail, and somebody could take this from me. But that all being said, right now I'm actually working on learning Premiere, which is the editing software that John uses. That's what's kind of cool about this house. We can bounce ideas off each other. We can bounce ide video ideas, editing ideas. He can teach me how to um, how to do some editing. I could teach him how to break cameras, like. It's just a beneficial, mutually beneficial thing for everybody. But yeah, we still got a lot to do. This is the palace of mine. I've got some shelving over there. Not some clothes. It's obviously not all done. There's obviously a lot of work that still needs to be done today. Today's Tuesday. That's kind of what's going on. Hopefully you guys... Hopefully you guys are excited for this as I am. Uh, comment below, let me know what you guys' opinions are. Before I end this video, I want to do something really unique. Well, not unique, but something, uh, since this is a serious video, some of you guys act for a real look at the backpacks. I did kind of a funny review of it. Let me do a real review, review now since I'm I've, got, I've got some time right now. To end this video off, I do want to do a, a legit review of this thing since some people are like, wow. That was the worst review possible. Yeah, I was just joking around, but here goes some seriousness. This is John's bag. I'm not going to go over it too much other than this one is actually almost sold out. It's limited edition. We don't have, we have a limited stock in these. So 
definitely if you're looking at picking one up and you want this color over this color, uh, definitely hurry up and get it so that this one doesn't sell out. This one's close to being sold out too, but this one's really close to being sold out. The main thing is when it comes to this backpack, and I said this before, was it can hold three of these big, these big boxes. Dude, this has got to be a serious one. Hey, did the cookie kill you? Because if not, I'm going to eat one. No, I already want to eat more. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbor brought over cookies. Literally, they know what's about to happen in this house. <laughs> so John just interrupted me. There's some more light. You yeah, you'll probably get some more light. Yeah. It's pretty dope. Mm. Oh, there wow. we go. Look at that. Burr. As I was saying before John interrupted me, is these big boxes you can fit in there. Or if you want to fit those deeper boxes, you can fit two of those. If you want to fit the smaller boxes, it doesn't come with boxes because you can customize it however you want to do it. All of that fits in the, in the bottom piece. Where you can put your trebles. Look at that. Treble just comes right out. Well, if you don't hook the Velcro. You could just put, put spinner baits, different types of baits in there. Made it kind of a bait sleeve. In here, we've got an area where you can hold two spools of line, some dip and dye, two pliers and scissor hold, scissor holders. But as you can see, these things come out, this Velcro, or this snaps into your bag, and then your plastics hang inside your bag. You have two little, two little notches for those if you want to organize your plastics. If not, you can literally just throw them in there. The side has got three rod, three rod holders, and then this side got some line in here, extra line, but water bottles, whatever you want. That's the bag, I'll leave the description below. I know you probably are sick of hearing about it because I've already made two videos about it, but for all those who wanted a serious review, there's a serious review. And that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys are excited for this new change as much as I am. I'm gonna edit this video, upload it, finish organization on this house, and then uh, tomorrow we're going to Gary's. So, should be an exciting day. You ready? Yeah, yeah. What's going on? What's going on? I almost fell in the same spot you did yesterday. I walked on the grass and went like, but I didn't fall. Can you end my video for me? I'm too lazy to end it. Yo, who got cookies? You punch that, punch that. Yo, did somebody give me cookies?